The gender of SMA connections is probably one of the most confusing in the world of uh, radios and antennas and possibly in other places as well and the reason is is a good one because it's very easy to see how it could be misconstrued so what we've got over on this side is an SMA male on the radio which would be similar to what Baofeng radios have. I will quite often get an antenna order and the buyer will remark I need an SMA male for a um, Baofeng and then I'll point out to them that they're probably mistaken they, they actually need an SMA female antenna which is what that looks like and it screws into there this radio is what has the SMA antenna base connector on the radio side so that radio requires an SMA male base and that's what that one is now why is this so confusing because if you look at this connector you will see that that appears to go inside well it not appears it does go inside of the radio base so therefore it would be natural to assume that that's a male connection however SMA hasn't based it upon the outer sleeve they base it upon the pin and so that makes it relatively easy to remember and see at first glance if you look here you can see there's a pin <clears throat> that makes it SMA male because of the pin you can see here on this one the pin fits inside the recess so although again this sleeve goes over top which if it was based upon the sleeve connection then that, of course that would be female but you don't base it on the sleeve you base it again on the pin so on this one when there's an antenna connected to it such as here you can see that if you look inside there's the pin so this antenna base when you order an antenna you would order an SMA male to fit into a connection like this for this radio such as a Baofeng this is an HYT radio by the way this is SMA female on the antenna side so your radio is SMA male it requires an SMA female antenna this radio is SMA female it requires an SMA male antenna once again base it upon the pin not upon the sleeve or the collar